friends, we are at the Memphian Theater in Memphis, Tennessee. This is a famous theater that Elvis would rent the whole theater and come in here and spend time with his friends watching movies and hanging out. A lot of things happen here. Let's go in and check it out. Kimmons? Kimmons. Yeah. Kimmons. Yeah, from uh, Holiday Inn. Yeah, so he, he was an usher here when the building opened in 1931. Really? Yes, and he decided that um, people would come in and say that they were hungry, and he decided that the theater should sell snacks, but they, the management didn't want to. So he asked if he could set up a popcorn machine outside. So for 50 bucks, he bought a used popcorn machine and put it on the corner right by that alleyway that goes right here. And sure enough, it was such a success that after a year, his profits had doubled the salary of the manager of the building. Wow. So they kicked him out, and they put a concession stand inside the building. And he, he was 18 years old, stomped away and said, fine, I'll open my own thing. And what, five years later, he had the first holiday in the open event. Yes. But if you read it online, that's my, that's my favorite part. The history was like family estate story. The last sentence is, and it all started over a $50 popcorn machine outside of the Memphian <laughs> That, I haven't heard that story. So eighth row was about where that about door is at. Yeah, it's about where the door is, where the stage is. So he would have been here. Right about there, yeah. That's a good vantage point to the to yeah, the screen. That is a good vantage point. Mm -hmm. So I saw stairs in the back. Is that would that just be storage upstairs, or does it go all the way across? Does it go all the way across? Right now it's our dressing rooms, mm -hmm. and yeah, we're guessing it's just storage. Yeah. We're guessing everything behind the wall yeah. was probably janitorial of yeah. some sort. If See, I, when I take you upstairs, we'll have a whole other slew of questions about okay. what that was. Because he would have had no reason to go upstairs Absolutely back not. here, I wouldn't think. See no. the sound treatments here, Trey. Yeah. It would have been those turned yeah. sideways. Yeah. yeah. So he's at the doorway. Looks like. Yeah. Looks like he's standing me, about like, where Terry is. Yeah. 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 And they're facing the, this way. I tell people this marble that's out here is part of the original, and it's in this photo. So the, these doors are original. Mm -hmm. We reversed them at one point about 10 years ago, but they're original. The window's original. We have the original. Um, display cases across the street. But this marble out here is the same. However, in the Joe Walsh photo, it's, I don't know if that's a red carpet, if that was some premiere of something. Um, anyway, I just kind of let, th this would have been approximately round about the same time. And when you say you reverse the doors, what does that mean? So you You made them go in or out? They See, both, these have doubles on them. So that's you're, right. So they both have doubles on them now. So, I see, okay. But the, this is so weird. Uh, it's a long explanation. I'll, I'll give it to you. Okay. So, uh, these doors were over there. Okay. And these doors were over here. And due to a shift in the weather changes, uh, the building slopes very slightly on this angle. And about 10 years ago, the weather was changing it to the point where we couldn't open the, this side doors. Uh, so we had to reverse them to make them fit. I see. About five years ago, a woman passed out at the wheel from illness not drinking it was in the morning drove her car into that door so that door is a replica so uh, the, the right one yeah okay the, the far only right one, one that's a replica yeah i could see where it probably had the gold thing on both sides that's right that's absolutely at one right. point yeah yeah um but but these and that door right there are the original doors that's interesting and this was what was the box office but we moved the box office inside uh, but those windows are original. The marquee's obviously original. Even the fixtures are not, maybe not original to 31, but they're original from the 70s, From 60s, that, 70s, yeah, yeah, from that era. Um, so a lot of people will ask if um, the tile's original. And I don't know the answer to that. It looks original. Well, what's really interesting is that the um, urinals are marble. There's mm -hmm. no way in hell that's, I mean, that has to be at least 50s, right? Yes. Yeah, that's, all this looks original to the building, for sure. So. People, if they were going to modernize it, it would have been urinals on the wall. Yeah. So people take photos in here a lot. That's <laughs> right. Um, you want to go upstairs? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So these are original. 
to the building. The stanchions, not so much, but uh, I don't know when the stanchions came in. But the um, they look old. They may. I mean, they, <laughs> they may go back to the seventies. Please watch your stuff. It's dark up here. This is when we get a whole slew of mysteries coming to us. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're going to go around kind of backwards. Number one favorite thing to show people is this. It's where we store lamps now, but it's what used to be the projection booth. Okay. So, whatever movie, whatever projectionist would have sat in here. Um, and then we'll go into this next room, which is the really big question mark. So imagine all those movies. Yeah. The guy, poor guy, so up right here there. had to change for Elvis halfway through the movie. Yeah, Star, <laughs> Star Wars. Star Wars. Was yeah. That's you know he never watched it. No. But you know, there's a story. I don't know if you know the story, but. They claim at the end of his life that he wanted to watch Star Wars for Lisa Marie and that they couldn't get Star Wars. Well, the Star Wars was playing here. Yeah. So all he had to do was just come here. Um, if you go down here, we're assuming. We're going left or right. You're going to your uh, left. Okay. I'm just, just careful because I don't have to do There's steps right. down, Trey. Just three steps down. One, two, and three are on the floor. Let me turn this light on. Um, so I'm assuming the balcony seat here as you can see in this room this is where the projection window would have opened out over their right? head because mm -hmm. yeah, we closed that off with a board we turn these into our own storage offices and things but i'm assuming seating would have started here yeah and you can see the towel over your head mm -hmm. so you're right yeah so we we put this in for our own booth um you are walking out now onto the balcony and the eighth row that's the real eighth row the what's real left row. Yep. and we i mean we'll see Every now and then, somebody of some sort of acclaim comes to see a show. We've had Morgan Freeman. We've had Justin Timberlake. Um, we've had Louis Farrakhan. Um, then we'll seat him up here. So we'll clean up the balcony if people are here. You can certainly sit in these seats and watch a show. but mm -hmm. uh, It's actually a pretty pretty good view from here. Says, it's oh, the best seat in the house. <laughs> oh, it's dedicated. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of this would have been bought. This was the eighth row. Mm -hmm. So there is a chance one of these seats. I mean, there's a chance he sat in all of them. Yeah. And these are metal, so they could have easily been painted well, from yeah, white to red. I'm assuming so. I'm assuming they weren't replaced because, again, those photos are too close together. Mm -hmm. Like, you'll ha we have a photo in 61 where they're red and a photo in 61 where they're white. They probably just did recovered them, and when they recovered them, they painted them. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure you're right about that. This is cool. I love it. Very cool. If you come up here, it's a really large place. It is. It's huge. That's why we don't know what. To have. I mean, this is an office that we use. We assume it was a manager's office of some sort. This is um, some of the marquee plastic. Oh. Yeah, and very cool. This is the W they say that held the Star Wars sign. Those what? Those would have been wooden instead of plastic. But. Wow, back then, that's mm -hmm. something. Um, really cool. Yeah, well, that's we, a that's a big desk. I don't know how they got this up here. <laughs> They had and to build the, the building right? around it. Yeah, I, we assume it's an office. If you go this way, wait. Oh, I, I do have lights. Hang on. Hold on. I know where I'm doing. Here. Hey, Y'all have all kinds of rooms. Well, this, we used to have 40 people working up here, and then we moved across the street about 13 years ago. Oh, I see. Um, so this is what people love this room. They say it's haunted because it's much cooler in here. We assume this was the manager's room, too. We also assume this might be original. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know when wood paneling became popular. This probably was from the 50s, 40s, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. 50s, um, for sure. And that fan might be from the 50s. Well, I mean, I might even have a date on it. I don't know. But I will show you my very favorite distant spot. All right. We assume this is where they kept, like, all their bills. Like, just was, I don't know. Yeah. So the real room here? We, we're guessing. Because you know those things were giant. Exactly. Yeah. And this is the only wide open like office space. Mm -hmm. So we're assuming that it was some sort of storage for those. Uh, but what I love to show people, and I let you out there, is this. That's on top of the... Yep, there's the, the shadow marquee. There's the marquee right there. So they would have gone through here. And then what is this? This would have just been storage. Just storage yeah. up in here? Uh, paper storage, most likely. I don't have the light to it, but... Um, kind of an attic. Yeah, and it's this is where we found the photos we use. It's also where we found some rolls of original Memphian Theater tickets, which we sell. We have very few of them left now, but... 
That is very cool. Um, yeah, so up in here was all the like ticket stuff and filing stuff and. So we're up in the very tip top. You're up at the tip top of the building on the front side. Um, you can technically, physically crawl through that window and stand on the marquee. Mm -hmm. I don't particularly advise it. Yeah. Uh, but it can be done. It can be done. Yeah. <laughs> That's very cool. Yeah. That's something else right there. Yeah. What a cool place. This would have been the bathroom for the projectionist. The eighth row. Um, on the aisle of the eighth row, this was bought by a fan club in Texas, but they donated it back to us. Oh. So they bought it, their names on the plaque. Um, somebody, I don't know who, wrote this. It is not Elvis. I don't know who wrote this. Um, but this came back. To, they put a plaque on it. The fan club put this Elvis Presley plaque on it. Okay. Um, so this is not something that exists. Elvis didn't put his name here. Uh, the fan club did. But uh, it... It exists as the Elvis chair because it is most definitely one that he sat in, though he would have sat in many others, no, no doubt. Uh, you're welcome to sit in it. It's completely sturdy and... Picture opportunity. Yep. And this is the theater that he met Linda in, by the way, when they started dating. It's right in front of me. Uh, nobody's sitting in front of me now. What are y'all standing there in front of me for? Gotta get behind me. I just need my flashlight now. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. We'll see you next time. Of course. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So there you go, friends. This is ultra, ultra, ultra cool. Nice people and just a great place. We highly recommend it. Courtney was awesome. No doubt. This right here, if you look in this photograph, you see the grates right there. You see the uh, two uh, meters, power meters, and you see that they're over Elvis's head. So Elvis was actually down in here, standing. There's the grate, and there's the power meters. Of course, they've been upgraded since then, but he was standing down in here. With that thing over his head like that, and the power meters behind, somewhere in that, in that spot right there. And so you have another one. There's him standing right by the power meter. So he was actually standing up here. During this one, he wasn't standing down his head right there. Somewhere like that, right? And so there's another one where you're showing a sign. I think it's that sign right there. I think he's standing somewhere right, right here. And that sign is on the wall. So there's the meter in that photograph. So they were standing. He was standing somewhere right here, wasn't he? out here. We have settled that that's the doors that they would go in. I don't know what would have been over here, but they would park somewhere in this back area and they would go through those two doors right there, which was under that sign right there, back here, because there's all kinds of photographs of him right in this area. And another thing is, is this used to be, you can see where they cut the poles off. This used to be before they start putting cigarettes in. That handrail right there was all the way down to right here. So it was part of it. So they would walk in like this, step down in here, go through this door to get in. So friends, here's one more for you. You see these glass blocks right here. Now look at this photo. There's the glass blocks right down the side right there. So he was standing right here. And look at the gun. That's a little it looks like a, a Derringer almost, but it's got to be bigger than that. He wouldn't carry a two-shot Derringer. But he is standing right here, and that is right there. And this is right around the corner from the little walkway that we were talking about right down there. So just another little piece of the Elvis puzzle. But you can see the box office was right there. You can see those lights right there, the holes and the wall right there. And you can see one of the doors is swung open to the left right there. That's that door. The box office would be here, and there's the lights. You can see a few of them on the line right there. So there's the, the lights lined up. Elvis spent a lot of time in theaters. Clearly a lot of time in theaters. 
but this is definitely beyond the shadow of a doubt right here. So friends, this is the front of the Memphian, which is now called the Playhouse, the uh, Circuit Playhouse. And this is in kind of a uh, theater district. This is the way it looked back in the day when Elvis was there, the Memphian. And uh, today they do plays and that kind of stuff. And a lot of the original stuff, this originally was the Malco Theater. This is what it originally looked like. But a lot of the original chairs and stuff are missing now. Because when they started doing plays, they made a big stage on the on the uh, the backside of it where the screen was. They even added onto it on the right for dressing rooms and a hallway to go through. So it's a lot different than it was at the time. This is at night, so that's what it would have looked like with Elvis there at night and that kind of thing. Them, can you imagine them pulling up, going through the front door, side door, or even an Elvis movie playing there, as illustrated right here, "Love Me Tender." and a lot of other Elvis movies playing there. And I think the Memphian, even though it wasn't a Malco theater, it still had something to do with it because this is Elvis in the lobby. And if you look over his shoulder, you see it says Malco right there on the movie poster. So Elvis frequented a lot of theaters around Memphis, but this was one of his favorite. Met uh, Linda Thompson here, and there's many more stories related to here. Just another little piece of the Elvis puzzle, friends. Many more to come. And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globetrotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. If you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.